Hello guys, welcome again to Algem Civil Engineering. The topic that we will discuss today is about the formula for computing the weight of steel. In this video, I will show to you in detail how this formula was derived. So watch this video in full and just enjoy. Okay, so let's start. Now let's start with the components of the formula W is equal to D squared divided by 162. What is W and what is D? W is the weight of 1 meter steel bar in kilogram and D is the cross-sectional diameter of steel bar in millimeter. Let us always remember that the weight we get from this formula is just for 1 meter steel bar. What? If we want to calculate the total weight of steel bars, we still need to multiply the length of the steel bar and the quantity. Later, after we derive the formula, we will try to solve a sample problem on how to compute the total weight of steel bar. To find the weight of the steel bar, we will use the formula weight is equal to volume times density. To picture out the volume of steel bar, we will assume a 1 meter length steel bar as shown in the figure. To calculate the volume, we will multiply the cross-sectional area of this bar to its length which is 1 meter. Since the cross-section of steel bar is circular, we will use the formula in finding the area of circle. The area of circle is pi r squared. But since we are interested with the diameter, we will convert pi r squared in terms of diameter, and this will become pi d squared over 4. The length of the steel bar we assume is 1 meter. Since the unit of d or diameter of a steel bar is in millimeter, we will convert 1 meter to millimeter and that is equal to 1000 millimeter. So the volume of 1 meter steel bar regardless of each size is pi d squared over 4 times 1000. Now let's talk about density. The density of steel is 7850 kg per cubic meter. This means that for a container of 1 cubic meter full of steel, it has an approximate weight of 7850 kg. Since the unit of the formula we want to derive is in millimeter, we will convert cubic meter to cubic millimeter. 1 cubic meter is equal to 1 billion cubic millimeter. So the density now of steel is equal to 7,850 kg over 1 billion cubic millimeter. Now that we already have a value of volume and density, let's go back to the formula weight is equal to volume times density and let's substitute these values to the formula. The value of volume that we have is pi over 4 d squared times 1,000 millimeter and the density is 7,850 kg over 1 billion cubic millimeter. Substituting these values, we will have weight is equal to pi over 4 d squared times 1000 millimeter times 7850 kilogram over 1 billion cubic millimeter. Simplifying the equation, the unit cubic millimeter will be cancelled and weight will be equal to 24,661,560 d squared over 4 billion. Dividing both the numerator and denominator by 24,661,560, weight now will be equal to d squared over 162.19 or d squared over 162. Okay guys, so that's how the formula for the weight of steel was derived. Hope you understand our calculation. Now let's take a sample problem on how to compute the total weight of steel bars using the formula. What is the total weight of 50 pieces 20 mm diameter steel bar whose length is 6 meters? To compute the total weight, we will use the formula total weight is equal to weight of 1 meter steel bar times length times quantity. So total weight is equal to d squared over 162 times 6 times 50. So total weight is equal to 20 squared over 162 times 6 times 50. And we will get a total weight of 740.74 kg. So that's it guys. It's just easy to compute the total weight of steel bars using the formula. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video if you think you have learned something. And also press the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks and see you.